Hey everybody, I've got a story about wheels to tell today. It starts there and it ends there. So the bronze wheels on the white vehicle are Nissan GTR seven spoke wheels. People that have been watching my videos for a while might recognize these wheels because they were on my 2011 Infiniti M56. I listed the vehicle for sale and I had people asking about the uh, the original sport wheels. Yeah, some people were asking because they wanted to buy those wheels, but others asked because they wanted to know if they could get the vehicle with the original sport wheels. They look really good, um, you know, no fault in that. And I did not really hate them when I got rid of them. I just wanted to try a lighter set of wheels. And that's why I went to the GTR wheels. And as much as it looked decent, I've got pictures of, of the vehicle with the bronze wheels fully around. I think bronze might complement white a little better, you know, just thinking about it. And despite the Q70 and the M being pretty much the same vehicle, I think proportionally the the Q70 seems to wear it a little better. Yes, they're the same vehicle from the side, you know, when you look at the doors basically, but when you start considering the front and the rear bumper, the rear section, I feel like the body lines on the Q70 lend themselves to these wheels a little better. Well, color does play a big part of it as well, gotta admit that. So these are all, well, these are both front wheels, front GTR wheels. The spec on that is 20 inches in diameter, nine and a half inches wide with an offset of 45. And they look pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say flush per se, but they poke out a little more than the factory ones. And look at the front. And that's compared to these sport ones over here. These are 20 inches in diameter, nine inches wide with an offset of 43. But it's more dramatic of a change when you compare these to the base model wheels. These are 18 inches in diameter, eight inches wide with an offset of 43. So the, the effective offset is more or less the same, just a difference of two millimeters farther inset, but the width, the GTR wheels are one and a half inches wider. Now, if you think about it this way, it's like the, the flushness of the GTR wheel compares to using this base model wheel with a spacer that is three quarters of an inch thick to make him poke out a little more. Does that make sense? And I think the effective calculated um, poke is like 17 millimeters, not too bad. And the good thing about having something pretty similar in spec is that because the offset is pretty much the same, you don't really have so much of the wheel hanging out compared to the original one. You have an almost equivalent amount poking, you know, extending towards the inside. In this case, you actually have, as I said, 17 millimeters on the outside, but like 20, 21 towards the inside. Not too bad. The tires change in size too, but not significantly. The speedometer is pretty much the same at this point. Little change can, can have a pretty dramatic improvement with regards to the look of your vehicle. Now let's look at this just to look at how the, the wheels actually look like. The bronze wheels in themselves look good but I think it was a little bit of a stretch or a struggle to work very well with the, with the black, especially considering how much chrome there is. So I think maybe that is, the, that is a color for the rest of the vehicle. Now, if you had blacked it out, maybe you might go a different way. I don't know. Uh, and people like what they like. I've seen that design wheel in bronze, did not like it at all. I think, as I said, colors and shapes and contour lines, all those things work together to make sure that you have a you have something that actually looks good. And 
the the factory they went with this silver chromish silver color it works very well with a lot of the different body colors that they have but i don't think in my mind it doesn't go very well with white see i'd already pictured the bronze on the white already even before putting them putting them on there so yeah well we'll check it out we'll see how everything goes but i hope this video helps in one way or another you can at least try to visualize what's going on all right okay catch you guys later okay here they are the wheels individually with every modification i make i usually try to stay objective and ask myself what's the penalty now i said i was trying to go for lightweight let's go ahead and see how much lighter they really are or if they stay the same or if they actually get heavier okay 18 inch wheels let's go 60.6 .6 pounds 27.5 kilograms now for the 20 inch wheel 54.2 pounds okay 24.6 kilograms so the combined weight of the 20 inch wheel and wider tire is a little less than the 18 inch wheel and factory tire size good to know